Hi, I'm Nadia Dunn. Welcome to IDX here at the Package Fulfillment Logistics and Delivery Expo in Cincinnati. I'm delighted to be joined by Jason from Shipium. Jason, thanks so much for being here. Now, can you tell us a bit about your background? I know you were at Amazon before. Tell us about that and now how you've ended up at Shipium. Yeah, um, so I was at Amazon uh, 19 years from 1999 to 2018. And I spent the majority of my career on kind of the uh, intersection of logistics and technology. Mm -hmm. And early days that meant working on the fulfillment centers and how we run our, our fulfillment operations for Amazon. But then later, kind of my big accomplishment at Amazon was rebuilding their supply chain to support Amazon two-day prime. Mm -hmm. And um, it was really in the middle of, of how we automated and optimized all those processes. Um, Shipium is really uh, kind of taking, you know, what I observed over the years and seeing that this was a big gap from for other companies. And so we're building an e-commerce uh, platform for supply chain and fulfillment. And the idea there is to help companies with positioning of inventory, offering a competitive delivery promise, routing and managing orders through their network, and then ultimately choosing the right carrier that's going to hit that delivery promise mm -hmm. uh, in the cheapest way possible. And obviously, over the last couple of years, we've seen some huge changes. Um, tell us about those changes, how they've affected you, and, and what are you doing about the future? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I think there's some interesting stuff that's kind of, I mean, it, the big obvious one, you know, I think e-commerce kind of got a shot in the arm, and there's, there's debates, you know, people some some traffic has kind of gone back to the store but i think generally everyone can agree that e-commerce is going to continue this this upward trend like it was before the pandemic and and will continue from here but so i mean obviously from the standpoint of we're heavily heavily focused on e-commerce um continued growth in e-commerce helps us a lot mm -hmm. um but i think the second thing that really came out of the pandemic was just um when you have a large jolt to the system like that the the kind of all of the stuff that kind of toppled over, right? And what that exposes is the need for companies to have a, a lot of flexibility in mm -hmm. their approach. And so we think of Shipium, you know, one of the things that you get from an automated software solution to some of these problems versus doing it manually is the systems are able to adjust a lot quicker to things changing, right? Mm -hmm. And that means using more carriers, picking different carriers based on, on how they're currently performing, or cost structures that are changing, you know, navigating around um, some sort of issue in the supply chain, that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. And so um, I think flexibility buys us a lot. And then I think the other thing is just um, with continued inflationary pressure uh, and all the other kind of general uh, economic factors going on right now, um, companies become more focused on how do you do things more efficiently. It becomes a time that you can really hone in and refine on your operations. And so Shipium, um, really helps companies, you know, drive in on those cost savings by being generally more efficient through all those different stages. So, so as well as being more efficient, what else are, are Shipium doing to stay ahead of their competitors at the moment? Um, we think of ourselves, you know, the big differentiators for Shipium um, is, is trying to help companies really focus on that on that need to trade off speed versus cost. You know, I, I explain it often as, um, you know, speed is this huge driver for e-commerce. Obviously, Prime has changed consumer expectations mm -hmm. and the need to kind of continue to ship your, your products faster to stay competitive in the market, drive more volume, drive more customer acquisition, um, drive long-term value with those customers mm -hmm. is just critical. And mm -hmm. so our ability to kind of grow, increase speed and decrease costs at the same time is what we consider to be one of our big differentiators. Um, and then the second, the second thing is just kind of the use of data to make these adjustments really quickly and efficiently. Mm -hmm. And even at this event, we've seen so many new technologies and, yeah. and the robotics around the stands. We can see it all. Like what's yeah. happening there? What does the future look like? Yeah, I mean, it's it's uh, just crazy, right? But um, no, I think, I think um, ultimately, you know, e-commerce specifically, it's really about serving the customer, right? You're trying to create this great customer experience. And I think um, this automation and, and ultimately the automation that comes from that is going to result in better customer experiences. Mm -hmm. And whether that comes from more efficient scan lines that can print labels out quickly and and uh, and ensure that, that all the packages are set up to be, to be handed off to the carrier or um, 
or you know robotic delivery solutions mm -hmm. they all lead to the same thing which is which is faster and cheaper shipping mm -hmm. well going back to the customer experience actually what are your thoughts on returns you know that's something yeah. that is becoming more and more prevalent people are starting to charge for returns like big companies yesterday we heard about boohoo starting yeah. to charge what are your thoughts on that um i think that like you know something like fast and free shipping it does have an effect on consumers decision to buy you know i think i think everyone has their own their own personal view but if you know that a company is likely to return you're much more likely to click the button and mm -hmm. so i my opinion is it's critical that that uh, returns continue to be easy for consumers or they're going to lose market share as a result of that. And you were a speaker today. Tell us about that. Yeah. So I had a little, I had kind of an insider's viewpoint on how do you effectively compete against Amazon. And um, we at Shipium call this the prime problem. Prime has just been such a dominant factor in e-commerce for the last 10 years that it's reset consumer expectations. And as a result, you really need to uh, have a game plan for continue to improve your speed of shipping keep your costs under control so that you can continue to be relevant in the e-commerce market. And and my discussion was about how did we get to some of the things with Amazon Prime and, and the operations process in general, and then how do you kind of apply those learnings to your own operations as a retailer out in the wild? Thanks, Jason. Yeah. And thank you for watching IDX TV brought to you by CCL.